Sorry about that, folks. It seems we lost our audio for a second, but we are with a lovely, very relaxed herd of elephants enjoying the lush green grass of the Mara. They're probably very happy that those hordes of gnooing, gnooing, noisy, smelly wildebeest have moved on. Now, that little one there hasn't got a tail. Now, sometimes elephants are born without tails, but normally, and in his case, or her case, sorry, it looks like it's possibly uh, due to something like a hyena that might have managed to grip onto the tail. So you can see that it had a tail. It is now longer there. So we have seen a few elephants that have been born without tails, but that looks more to be uh, lost the tail. Not necessarily hyenas, could have been lions. Uh, very difficult to speculate. You can see it's all healed over already. Now, it's amazing. We've traveled quite a, a, quite a big distance today uh, through different parts of the Mara Triangle. And what amazes me is that the difference in the grass. So in areas where it's had a little bit more rain, it's right next to areas that haven't, uh, you've got this lovely lush green grass like the elephants are feeding on at the moment. But in other areas, the grass is really, really yellow and dry. And of course, on these lush grass bits, we're finding a lot more animals, uh, lots of elephant, uh, zebra, uh, and uh, hopefully around the edges, we're gonna see some interesting stuff. I'm hoping there could be some heart beast and some topi about here as well. Melissa is wondering, are there any, any edible plants and fruits in the Mara that people eat? Well, yes, you can eat the African ebony, the diospirus. It's quite tasty. I'm trying to think what else. All these birds brandy, which we also get down in South Africa, which is a uh, type of lantana. Um, Guaris you can eat. Blue bush you can eat. Uh, so, yes, there are quite a lot of edible plants and, 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 and fruits around the Mara that will be eaten by people. But, like in most places where there's a lot of wildlife, the animals tend to beat, beat you to it. The monkeys, the baboons, the birds, they're much faster than you. Uh, we're going to leave this lovely little herd of Andes. We're going to trundle on up the edge of the Shinny River system. And uh, I'm also really hoping to find a black rhino in this area. It's one of the areas we see black rhino quite commonly. Especially in this little patch around here, there's quite a lot of good black rhino food.